If you're looking for an easier and healthier alternative than frying to get the crispiest chicken skin, try my dad's Lam Yu Xiu Gai Whole Roasted Chicken. Drawing on thousands of years of Chinese traditions with roasting meats, my dad will show you how to employ a few tricks and ingredients you've most likely never seen in Western recipes. Get ready to learn how to cook the most epic centerpiece for your next Lunar New Year or holiday feast. Cheers! We'll start by giving our chicken a proper spot treatment. Uh, 買回來,先洗乾淨先,雞雞擺下來 那麼洗乾淨,因為吃東西嘛 如果你是不想的話,你可以斬了它先吃燒 You'll see from our plethora of whole chicken recipes that we love celebrating with whole chickens on the dinner table. We've got poached chicken, fried crispy chicken, soy sauce chicken, and now roasted chicken. It's especially important in Chinese tradition because of the symbolic wordplay. Especially during Lunar New Year, putting chicken on the dinner table, or gai, is a good omen because it sounds like ho sai gai, literally a good world, which means having good fortune. The completeness of the whole chicken also symbolizes prosperity and wholeness, especially with family. That's why my dad plates the dish traditionally to show the completeness and shape of the chicken, head and all. After washing the chicken, we'll work on the marinade. After cutting into slices, we'll cut it into strips. Then rotate 90 degrees to mince. Next, we'll mince some green onions. We'll only need the white parts here. Then we'll dice. And add it to the same bowl as the ginger. In Cantonese, this dish is called Lam Yu Siu Gai, which literally means chicken roasted with red fermented bean curd. Red fermented bean curds are little cubes of fermented tofu sold in jars like this. It's a unique Cantonese ingredient that we've used in dishes like Tasiu, Buddha's Delight, and Hakka style fried pork belly. We go into lots more detail on this and other fermented ingredients in our course, the Kento Cooking Club, which you can learn about over at club.maywithlao.com. <laughs> We mix everything together until it's a consistent paste. We can try the marinade here. Okay. We'll use paper towels to dry the inside of the chicken. We'll also dry the outside of the chicken. Now we'll spoon all of the sauce into the cavity, spreading it around. Okay. 
咁咧嗱，喺佢上邊兩邊細邊咁整就得噶啦。嗱，好似呢啲街呢罅噶啦，嗱，我要擺得落去啦。嗱，喺個邊度，嗯哼，斜得，唔使邊斜得。啊！如果你唔需要嘅話，你唔就唔需要個俾腳嚟㗎啦。嗱 ，Unfortunately, my dad committed my biggest filming pet peeve, which is doing recipe steps off camera. But with his cleaver, my dad had cut off the feet before I could film. For reference, this is a clip of the same step from another video. 如果你需要嘅話，就俾腳喺擺入去下邊。咁燒起上嚟，佢就唔會燶曬啦，知道嘛？咁啊，睇住睇點樣整啊！呢度啦，嗱。Now we'll need to close the cavity. 包住佢上邊啊！掹下邊啲皮上嚟，用個竹籤尖啊嘛，啊咁竹腳竹入去。Then we'll secure the skin with a skewer。用個包住啦，係嘛？呢邊個邊又又係咁樣啊？呢度啦，一樣都係咁樣做法。呢度個皮包住呢度。We、we'll、use the third skewer to seal it completely。咁啊得啦，包住曬啦，係嘛？用啲鹽又醃一醃個背脊，用鹽。We'll generously add salt all over the outside of the chicken. 搽匀佢，醃一醃佢，有啲味嚇。怕唔怕落太多啊？唔怕，即係佢一陣間個仲要啲水落一落個皮佢。Make sure to add salt to both sides and rub it into the skin. 醃一醃佢先，醃一醃佢先。哦，好啦。Now we'll set it aside. Okay. 咁擺喺度醃一醃佢。仲一樣咧，就教埋呢個糖醋皮先啦。嗱。佢用白醋、奶醋兩個湯匙，呢、这個香醋即係紅醋，三個湯匙，仲有俾麥芽糖，呢、这個係麥芽糖。嗱，如果你話屋企冇麥芽糖咧，你可以用蜜糖。如果你連蜜糖都冇咧，你點咧？白糖俾兩個湯匙，就再俾兩個湯匙水，咁你擺落個 microwave 度三十秒一次，停一停，再三十秒一次，咁佢啲糖咧就變咗結咗啦。咁你可以撈埋呢度，搽上個街道嘅。我經常都係咁做噶啦。如果有麥芽糖咧，就麥芽糖好啲。啊，麥芽糖就佢嘅佢甜冇咁甜嘅度。呢個醋咧，我要 microwave 整翻熱佢，先係滗啲麥芽糖落去。We'll microwave the vinegar for thirty seconds to warm it up。醋熱咗之後咧，擺麥芽糖落去咧，佢就容易溶解咗，明白嗎？嗱，呢個呢個係麥芽糖嚟嘅，咁就足夠噶啦。啊！呢度係有差唔多一個湯匙有多噶啦，呢度。所以我哋細路仔嗰時係都成日買過嚟食噶啦，好食噶，唔甜嘅。我哋細路仔嗰時係俾條牙籤咁挑嚟食噶。你有啲醋係熱噶啦，搞成粒麥芽糖咪容易溶咗咯。如果你係凍嘅話，就整好耐先至可以溶噶啦。If needed, use another spoon to separate and unstick the maltos. 落醋落糖咧，就將個面個皮咧會脆啲，會香脆啲。We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. 做完呢樣嘢咧，就將個皮計嚟，將啲滾水飛飛過去。啊，呢個係滾水嚟嘅。啊，我哋先呢個雞頭度，啲雞頸度，嗰啲滾水攞落個先啊。咁之後咧，雞身個下邊個身點解就用啲滾水浸過之後咧，沖過佢之後咧，雞皮就收緊咗啦。睇到嘛？嗱，收緊咗個雞皮啦，知？睇到 ？Can you skip pouring boiling water on the skin？ 係免咗呢個步驟啊！免咗呢個就啲皮就好難脆，啲滾水淥嗰層皮咧，突然間收縮咗，唔同佢容易乾啲。如果你唔淥嗰啲滾水淥嗰啲皮咧，佢好難乾。你唔乾嘅話，你再搽嗰啲啲糖皮上去咧，佢就會黐唔到嘅。一定嘅皮要乾先至搽得到皮上。吸得啲糖皮，呢、这個就傳統就個個都係咁做噶啦。餐館又好，私人屋企都係咁，呢、这個工序唔少得嘅。食食食食食食食。Yeah. We'll continue pouring hot water onto the chicken a bit at a time. 成個身要，哎呀，成個雞都俾皮都要，俾啲滾水沖過佢，俾落落去。咁之後咧，就俾佢晾住佢停水。啊，做完呢個之後咧，就咁樣啦。下邊咧就要空嘅，啲水咪乾乾咯。嗱、啊，呢、这個時候咧，你又俾風扇吹佢，吹一吹佢咧，佢就乾咗之後咧，搽皮上嗰啲皮上去。將個快脆咧，就用風筒，用風筒就吹佢。咁就係用個風得啦，涼風都得啦，唔一定係熱嘅，即係吹乾嘅啫嘛。
推过来没赔？啊，没过来啊，你让我过来咯，啊，啊，都翻翻翻，吹然后打一个空过度。我 finish drying the chicken with a hair dryer。啊，最快嘅方法就封桶啊。嗱，而家咧就上個糖皮，糖皮上去就咁雲巡咁查查佢，又或者拎起個雞頸佢查，啊又得。Now we'll brush the vinegar glaze onto the chicken。即係菠蘿啲皮都要查勻佢，吹乾咗之後佢先至上得到糖皮上啊嘛。如果你濕咁咪上唔到啦，係嘛？你可以查兩次，即係乾咗之後再查一次仲好啲。全部查完上完嘅皮之後咧，你可以除開佢啦。可以除一個燈佢乾。如果你可以嘅話，擺雪櫃，佢更花快脆扯乾嘅皮，三四個鐘頭、四五個鐘頭就 OK。過夜都得，你擺喺過夜雪櫃。We'll let the chicken dry out for at least three to five hours or up to overnight in the fridge. When we take it out, it'll need an hour to come to room temperature. Then we can prep it for the oven, which will preheat to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, we're using another chicken that we've already prepared. 我呢只雞咧準備就入入去個爐燒噶啦。出之前咧，俾張石紙墊一墊嘅底下先，哦，底下個盤。咁即係方便咧，就洗嗰個盤時啊，清潔嘅時候就容易啲，係嘛？唔使唔使咁麻煩，係嘛？剪剪之後咧，就擺佢上嚟。咁晾起嘅作用咧，就等佢有個空間喺度，唔使嗰啲汁流落下邊嘅時候浸住只雞，咁佢就冇咁香脆嘅咯。之前啊，仲有咩咧？嗰啲誒比較係乾燥嘅地方咧，容易燒燒燙咗嘅。咁我哋咧就俾啲石子包住呢個地方佢，咁咧呢個地呢個尖度咧就唔會容易燒燙咗啦。We'll wrap the ends of the drumsticks, the tips of the wings, and the beak with foil. Now we're ready to put it in the oven. 咁而家咧，我就先綁只雞擺入去。呢只雞應該係四十至四十五分鐘嘅時間就熟噶啦。我留先將個背脊二十分鐘，再反轉佢二十分鐘，咁就得噶啦。而家我擺入去，嗰個墊架咧唔好太高，太高嘅話咧，佢就上邊好容易燒燙咗，知道嘛？就最低下邊下邊都少少得噶啦，收埋佢。Now we'll let it roast in the oven for 20 minutes, which is the advantage of this dish over crispy skin chicken. We can achieve crispy, aromatic skin with the glaze and roasting process while avoiding the hassle of big bubbling vats of hot, dangerous oil. Other than prepping or carving, the actual cooking of the chicken is hands-off, making a great candidate for a Lunar New Year or holiday feast. Now after 20 minutes of roasting, we'll take out the chicken to flip it. Using paper towels to avoid burning our hands, we'll flip the chicken around so the breast side faces up. We roasted the chicken for another 30 minutes at 365 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use a thermometer to ensure the chicken is done, but my dad can tell just by looking at the color of the skin. We're done as far as cooking, but there are a few more important steps to cover. Then we'll remove all of the foil coverings. We'll remove the skewers and let the chicken rest for at least 10 minutes before carving. Of course, there are many, many different ways to carve a chicken, even just within Chinese cuisine. In essence, we're plating by roughly transposing where the parts reside on the body to where they lie on the plate, head to tail, right to left. We'll set aside the feet and pour out the juice from inside the cavity. First, we'll remove both of the leg quarters by slicing through the joint and pulling them off the body. We'll set them aside. Next, the torso. We'll cut right through the middle, separating the back from the breast. Then we'll chop into one inch pieces. Chop 
Now we'll chop and plate the rest of the back. We'll chop the neck into small segments and plate them with the head. Like the back, we'll split the breast lengthwise, cutting through the bone. Then cut into one inch pieces. We'll repeat with the other half of the breast and plate the pieces. Then move on to the legs. First, we'll chop to separate the thigh, then cut the drumstick into smaller pieces. Then plate. Now, we'll also chop the thigh into smaller pieces and plate. We'll repeat these steps with the other leg, then move on to the wings. We'll repeat with the other wing and plate. Finally, the feet. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Kanto Cooking Club.